recording. There's a hole in the side here, and it's not the easiest to get to, so I can go like that and bring it down in there. But then I gotta like find the hole. But as a man, you should always be able to find the hole. You gotta pretend like it's a prom queen. Yeah, so mm -hmm. pretend like it's a prom queen. There you go. <clears throat> she always knows the perfect thing to say. All right, so so what I'd like to hear. Let me guess. That's not 100 percent water. No, it's 100 percent water. Um, that's all I drink. I drink, if I drink, I drink very little and I drink very rarely. Like just now going out with friends, I had yeah, two drinks so at the most. I went for 10 years with nothing. On one night, one moment, I decided I'm not going to drink anymore. I'm not going to smoke cigarettes anymore. I'm not going to do drugs anymore. I'm not going to do uh, anything anymore. Well, and good. all at once, and I dumped it all in the toilet, in the sink, all that shit gone and didn't touch anything for 10 years mm -hmm. nothing complete opposite end of the spectrum i think at that point i was smoking like two packs of cigarettes a day not a single puff for 10 years and uh a couple every now and then that's right yeah but like everything all at once well, you know what i mean being so sick. it wasn't just uh it wasn't just that so anyway it uh
Summers were like winters and the springs brought other things. We were alive in our own lives. We were the softer lullabies of some between. Oh, oh, what else could it mean? Oh, you were there so in between our summers were our winters lost in some demise between the earth and spinning skies. Oh, we were so much in all the other's eyes. Oh, we were in touch. We were surprised to be the ones more fit for benefit of any of it all. Oh, we felt so small and we were in the waves. So oh, we were twisting in between the summers and some dancing golden ring. Oh, we were wandering things. We were the most surprised and in our eyes. Our lullabies were more than sweet goodbyes. Oh, they were the summer neath the moon. Oh, we were so in tune. Oh, we were the spinning moon, and in our own demise, our own eyes, we were there in surprise. Oh, we were surprised to be the ones more fit for summer moons and tunes and things like dancing in the breeze when all you want to do is fall to your knees and cry out some good by some sweeter tune than in the moon is all the only place I'll see your golden eyes so oh, my god how do they shine there was no sweeter time my dear than all the summers all the long goodbyes the softer sweeter claims so oh, if I could only say your name without a softer tune than some embrace of being caught between the moon spinning moon and bow it's soft just all bodies
miles of best. We stood the test. We sang our sweet goodbyes, our softest lullabies. We held. We just held our breath. And we put ourselves to the old to me test. We were there and surprised by the brightness in the skies and in yeah, each other's eyes. Oh, we were all one surprised, and in the end, we were. The softest types of friends we were a wonder and surprise oh, in the darkness of the skies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were softer than goodbyes, and we were softer than the soft. Just so fall the softest times and we were on the way to better days. We were some type of broken pain. The softer side of Sears and all we were the smears on every campaign against the darkness of your eyes. The softest type of friend was in
Times we wished we'd never known before the moon came round, shone its glow. We were in the best surprise between a darker spot between our eyes. Where all the Summers of our lives were in the summers of our memories, and all our needs were broken. Yeah. Sweet pieces on the floor. Oh, so we would never stand no more. I guess we learned to stand and in our own breath.
embrace we held our truest face oh, toward the wind and toward the land oh we found our way to stand and in the wind we held our deepest embraces oh our faces turned into the wind oh feel it running through our hair we never knew despair we knew our names and we were in this way the same oh yeah we held each other's lives as love and countable for all oh, there was no thing like small and we were all the finest things around to be seen no oh, i guess i mean i say we all were so in love oh had we will to shove we would and if we had our own names they'd be good we'd stand up and we'd be amazed oh, had, uh, softness of another face oh as he screams for some brace oh he wishes for some summer more to come but there he is he struggles underneath the sun oh he would stand and be amazed if all the haze of all the din of all the lies round were parted we were all the same in oh, a solitary name oh if that could be love well let it be well i would see you in the end and know my friend my friend my friend oh doesn't really end oh we would go forever just to say oh if your face were all the things that i could see your embrace would be oh the finest yeah just the finest thing around oh of all the things that could we found well we'd sing we'd there bound in some unending maze of hearts and embraces underneath what seems we all we had the moon Oh, in this tune we find our own embraces, oh, our havens, oh, our graces, and our moans will turn to cheers. Oh, we could be for years apart, it doesn't matter in your heart, we're all the same, you see, cause yeah, cause I don't know. Perhaps it's just a game. Well, then who will be the pawns? Well, I guess it's just for all of us to choose to be whoever we may be. Oh, in the summer, in the skies. Oh, we may stand or fall. It's up to us. What the call is here. We know our Races in the softness of the softest of the winds. Oh, so our sins abound, and that's found. We fall upon the ground, we find our heavens and our graces. Oh, in light, softer embraces. Mm-hmm.
emotionally. Oh, you're crying. At the end. Like, the beginning was cool. <clears throat> and then the second was a little menacing. And the third got crazy. And, like, after you sang the second time, you started, like, playing, like, just the way that it made me feel like I thought my friends were here that aren't. And I was just like, it was. I oh, felt yeah. the same way. I felt like, the same yeah, way. Yeah, dude. Cool, man. Like, really, that was. That was. That was really fucking good. Thank you. And holy shit. The way that you broke up, too, was like in different stages from like good and evil like it was like you you had your you, you were like selfless at the beginning and you didn't care and then it got a little like dark like it was playing sides against each other and then it was like yeah yeah Jekyll and Mr. Hyde exactly exactly I'm not gonna lie I closed my eyes and I was listening to it and I was just thinking about my friends that passed away and like the people that I have in my that's life that's what I was thinking about too and I was just like it got, it got to me. You know what I was thinking about? I was thinking about the fact that 22,000 children die every single day from poverty. And so I'm singing about their, the light of the moon and gone from your eyes. Yeah, I'm no, thinking I, about I, people I, I know by name who are dead <clears throat> now because of poverty, which that, is curable. That's why I was saying, I was like, it felt like you were like, so you were so selfless in your music. You know, you were like, you're so selfless. And like, you, you, yeah, you like, I feel that like you had that caring part to you in it at the beginning. And then as you went through, and then that's how it went through the different stages of like, you were upset from it kind of like, and then the ones that went away and like, holy shit, that actually makes so much sense. Thank you. What do you, what did you think about the lyrics? Did you, were yeah, you able no, to understand the, the, any the, of them? The, yeah, the lyrics were actually really, really cool too. I really liked them. They actually, they put, they put it more into perspective now for me. Interesting. You know, I, I, I've, I've never sang that before, well, it also like ever, because I... It sounded like you missed a girl in your life at one point, like... Well, it's non faccia donna, it's that one that never has shown, like, I, I thought I met her a few times, you know, you know what I mean, but like, yeah, but like it's not her, you know what I mean? You think you meet the right one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, and I got There's that a lot of that in too. there, too, yeah, sure. I wish I had a rag right here, I need to put a piano, I need to put, like, certain rags, like that British flag over there. In the piano bench as a piano rag. I'm gonna go get it right now. Um, we're still recording, by the way. Um, uh, yeah, well, I want to. I want to hear your feedback on the, <laughs> the recorder. Um, if that's all right. No problem. But, like, I'm gonna say the same thing. Because like those words, those words, I make like I make them up as I go along. It, but I don't feel it feels wrong to say that I make them up as I go along because no, it's no. more like I listen and I just repeat what I hear. That's you know what I mean? I do too. That's like it's just mom. words that are in my head and. And I'm just listening to these words in my head. No, it's fine. Look, dude, you got lost in the music. I know you did because as soon as you close your eyes and you start playing, it's exactly. Well, yeah. I mean, we're recording now for like I don't even know how long. I haven't checked yet. I don't even um, really care. All I know is it was amazing. And I'm 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 really glad because you know there are times when and I thought about this as like oh shit if I'm not uh, if I'm if I'm playing with someone else in the room I should have them sit behind me so I don't see them out of the corner of my eyes because like it'll. Uh, It'll it'll make it play differently, but it always plays differently no matter how what the situation is. I you know what I mean? I what, whatever piano and stuff like that, and it's good. It's good to, to see. Hey, can I keep doing it? What, you know, remember this person is right here and listening and and stuff like that. And uh, that's, and that's what I love about like when you get lost in the music, especially when you get to the words. Like it's like nobody around you. Yeah, you're just recording, which, and that's why I love to record, you know? Because yeah. for me, I'm all about the words, and for me, every instrument has always been like, get me to play it as uh, just enough yeah. to be able to, you know, the sing way, something. The way that you broke it up, like from the beginning to the end? To where well, I don't know what I did. I just made it up as it went along, the whole thing. Oh, okay. Piano, piano, and, I mean, I played similar things, but, this, this but it, was, it was brand new. It's never been played before, never will be played again. Okay, well, for, for me, from what I get from it now that you tell me that, uh -huh. is that... You felt a certain way, which was awesome in the beginning, and then you got mad about something. Not mad, but you had an emotion. Yeah. And then you went into a little dark, menacing place yeah. Oh, yeah. that got you upset. Oh, yeah. And then back into a church. 22,000 children die every single day from uh, poverty, and, and man. Like, like I said, the, the first, like the beginning part. That's one every four seconds. Uh, like it, the, the, the beginning part. Uh -huh. Like the first thing I thought was like, wow, dude, these are like, this is really selfless, like, really like. Like meaningful, like you know, like, like willing to do something with, with something that you 
have no power over it. Like if you only if you get no power over it. That's interesting to say, state that. Yeah. Nice. Because that's then, how I, that's how I feel. That's what I feel when I'm playing. Because I don't feel like I'm like oh look at what I can do on the piano or look at what I can um, do with lyrics and stuff. Because right. I, I'm I feel like for me it's it's more just like closing my eyes and usually no because I look at the at the keys too. Well, but yeah. like well, that's different. it's it's more like just connecting into something that that needs to come out or be said or something like that you know what i mean um and yeah and then like and then also like i wouldn't be able to write that down i mean, maybe i could no i couldn't because it's I, a different experience yeah, to write I, this well, way and record, that's why i do it this I, way the only thing that i have is uh like my laptop that i can record stuff on or my phone when i'm by myself well, have you seen um, one drinking anything on here that didn't belong on here I haven't, and I've ver I've appreciated that very much. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I mean, we had that conversation. Um, but then when we went know. into like, I guess you could say like the, the fourth verse, right? It was right before you started playing. Or after the second time you started singing, and then uh, I just like I remember I closed my eyes and was just sitting like this, and I swear to I saw all my friends. Oh that, really? That are dead around me. Really? The people that I have in my life. Nice. I felt them. That's like that's what I. That's where the music was coming from, man. It was what they were trying to fucking tell you, dude. That is what. I that's mean. what the fucking words were. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I don't fucking make. I don't. I don't. I don't make them. I mean, I don't feel like I'm writing them. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm just fucking singing something that needs to be sung. I call it meme theory. Meme theory. Meme theory is the scientific explanation on how it is that. Um, is, it, is that a real that, thing? Yeah, science. It's um, it's a uh, it's that, meme theory is a scientific explanation as to how it is that one culture in uh, the world can create the wheel and another culture without ever communicating with that culture can also create the wheel yeah. um, and it, it speaks of like fulfilling a general human necessity and all of this stuff and um, anyway so uh, meme theory with music for me is um, more tapping into a general human consciousness you know what I mean, yeah, and and if yeah, you're playing, I really notice a notice it a lot with the guitar because I, I think it's more of an emotional consciousness than it is with a human. Consciousness yeah, that's probably a better way to put it. Emotional consciousness. Because honestly, I think everything you know, like war, famine, happiness, and just everything, mm -hmm. mainly is more. It, it's all emotional. Yeah. Like even I think even some things that are. Relative. I don't know. How to, I don't know how to put it, but I mean, in, the, in my head, it makes sense. Like it, everything, kind of based around the an emotion and the way that you're able to express it, whether it's through music, painting, you know, making people happy, being a comedian, even you know, I think that that's. I think that's how it. What it means. Simon said, "Anyway, you know." Oh look! Look at that. I told him, I texted him before I started playing at 8.20, and it's 9.13 right now. Oh shit, so that means the recording, which I should check, is, um, let me date stamp it, so it's 19th of March, 9.13 p.m., and that was honestly like it's a Saturday, right? We just wrapped, what's there's, up? There's one lyric that you said that actually really hit me, but I can't remember. Oh shit, I'm gonna keep recording right if that's all right. I know there, there was like there was something in there, <clears throat> something that you said while you were playing. Oh, that, I can't I can't remember if we if we listened to it I could point it out. It, it was like somehow, like I think you you were you were trying to, you were you were pretty much like explaining love, you know, like what love was, mm -hmm. and how you're mad that some people don't have it in a way like in a metaphorical way I guess you could say. Interesting. And. It, it got a little crazy though, cause all the keys that you hit like made perfect sense. It hit right really? on. Really? Yeah, it hit right on cue. I was like, wow. I was like, oh, dude, yeah, and that actually makes a lot of sense. Wow. But I just I love the way that you kind of formatted it, like to where like you had something great, and then it went into like this. Well, I mean, pockets some, of some, a different world. Yeah, pretty much. It's it's kind of yeah. like Dante's Inferno, you know, like this the seven different stages of hell, you know. Interesting. Like it, 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 like it, it's. Did you feel like you came out a winner or a loser in the end? Me. Yeah. Oh, a winner. Nice. Because it's not That's every. How I felt too. It's not every day that you get to hear something that raw, and that great, in pure form. I mean, if you didn't write those lyrics, because I didn't see you having, 
No, I made it up as I went along. Every yeah. bit of it. The piano too is very similar to like things that I've played in the past. Just it's just a piece I've been composing for the since I was taking care of my grandmother mm. before she passed, and and there are pieces in there that are her. You know what I mean? Um, and she had uh, Alzheimer's and dementia, and I took care of her for the last several months of her life. Um, yeah, and that must have been difficult, man. What's that? That must have been very difficult. It was, yes, very, very, very much so. Um, and, uh, but, you know, got through it and shit. Um, but, um, fuck. Yeah, there's a piece in there that I started writing. So there was a piano up in the cafeteria area. Mm -hmm. And then there was a grand piano downstairs in the entryway. And where, where was it? At the nursing home where she was oh, okay. living. And I would play during lunch for her and friends and and then I would play the grand piano coming in and or out um, downstairs and that's I need some water but that's uh, Actually, it was kind of like playing with and for grandma and then saying goodbye to grandma and saying hello to grandma you know what I mean um, I play I play going in I play upstairs and I play going out and so this, there are elements of that of that piano piece that I've been writing since that time that was, was that the part that I was talking about to where I felt like the loved ones that I've lost because I mean you know Jose yeah. you know, that passed away yeah. he was he's my good friend I've known him since we moved here mm -hmm. like I wasn't I wasn't even able to park 10 yet now I'm almost 30 um, my other friend you know passed away and I've had so many people in and out of my life. Well, that's I mean, been it happening. Make, it, it makes you, it makes you realize how life precious is, but you can still feel them around you. Yeah. When you can play the music, like when you play the music, like, like when I think about, you know, all the people in my life that have passed away. That's what that's what music is all about is remembering and making good memories too, not just the depressing ones. Yeah. Okay, I like that. The great ones. We're still recording. We're almost at an hour. On the 19th, March sure. in Flanagan's Attic with Angelo. So this... This is... And it's hard to play it exactly right the way I, I've been... Not right. There is no right. There's no mistakes in music, like Miles Davis says. You can't unhear something, you know what I mean? So oh, once yeah. you hit that note, well, it's too late. The, the way that I was always, uh, the way that I've always learned, then just think about it, and it'll come to you. Interesting. Use your brain. No, just um, use your feelings, use your heart. Yeah, there we use go. Use your ability. Yeah. There you go. Um, so this is, and I'm going to play it differently because I, I've been writing it. I just it changes every single time I play it, and that's why I record it. That's why I like I've never finished Cassie's song or anything too, so I completely agree with that. Yeah. Um, you get different but, uh, emotions every time. Shit, I'm gonna take my sweater off. Hang on. It's fucking warm in here. I love that Regina likes it so warm in here because. Oh God, I hate that. I oh man, I would much rather walk around my own home in my underwear at any time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not in just just in the summertime. That always bothered me with my, with my parents is that they would always, well it's winter time you're supposed to wear a coat yeah but not in the house so I'll put on a sweater not in the fucking house when you're inside the house I should be able to walk around in my goddamn underwear I never I, well, I never said it like that in front of my parents and I started using that that door by the way partially open with the light shining is truly like a poltergeist kind of thing it's so fucking rad uh, we got to make this side of the door though look cool. Um, it's good that I'm going to be home a little bit, but I want to I want to put writing first, interior design second, right. cleaning and writing first, because like basically like piles of laundry you saw it's a mess up there right now. Uh, um, well, yeah. I mean I'm, I fill my mom with all this and I still have to go to work and do my other stuff well, when I get a little better though. Yeah. So this I think is my grandmother's piece here. Um, right. It's weird. I feel like I can't play it. And I think it's because there's another person in the room, uh, you know, so no, it's hard. No, it's difficult. It's a changed experience. I, I, think, I think it's because you're trying to explain it to me that too. more than you're trying to play it. So just that too. And I'm out of water. Um, I got water right here. Oh, 
Wait, my bad. Is it? Nice. Don't worry. It's this thing. I'm not. I don't know how to do this. Slide to close. Shoot, sorry. Yep. Oh, it's just a top like that? Okay. Here, here you go. Here, you can ever give me with me. I got more. Just let me know you need more. Cool. I'm good. Thank you. Um, I think I have to I think I have to lead into it with something else to find it. So when I find grandma's tune, I'll give you a nod. Or I'll uh I'll say something about it. You know what I mean? But I gotta lead no, into I think it I'll to find it. Though, I miss my grandma too. Well that's what I want. I that's that's what that's why I wanna give you like let you know where it is because um if that's I, I wanna know if by the time I met like if 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 that's the time the moment. I'll probably what I'll do is I'll play into it and once I find it, I'll be quiet about it for a moment. Yeah, to, to until I feel like okay yeah that's definitely we're definitely here and then I'll let you know like we've been here for a bit and yeah. that'll be interesting to know if by the time I say that if that's what you were feeling you know what I mean if that's what you were sensing and, and yeah, stuff well, I'm if, not going to say anything until the end so let yeah, 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 yeah. Say, yeah, yeah. let me know yeah 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 just well, yeah I'll, that's I'll the best you know that's the best yeah that's the best that's the best way to do it um okay cool very different experience playing it with someone, especially after explaining it. Yeah, I would like another sip of water, actually. Thanks. Maybe we'll stop the recording. Need the light. All right, we're at an hour, three minutes, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16.